uh, I think in the book you mentioned that every year we lose about four hundred and fifty billion dollars to cybercrime, right? So how should a CFO or a finance professional look at this? What are some of the things they can do to equip themselves to understand these kind of uh, crimes? And obviously, nobody is a superman here. How could they collaborate with lawyers better? How could they collaborate with technologists better uh, to stop this? I believe the world is facing two biggest risks. Biggest risks, two biggest risks. One topic of our discussion. Second is not. One is a cyber crime. No system in the world is unhackable. It is a it is a bad thing to hear, but that's a fact. The second, which the world might be hit and badly, is lack of drinking water. The second one is not our topic of discussion. In fact, the third world war, if at all, if it happens, it will be the drinking water, which might create the trouble. But now let's come to the first one, which is the cyber crime. As you rightly mentioned. Half a trillion dollar of wealth is lost due to cyber crime. Half a trillion dollar. Now, as far as CFOs and finance communities are concerned, it is important that the cyber crime issue, which is very serious, because everything is hackable, to attack it and get it controlled. This has two aspects: internal and external. Internal controls, external controls. Internal controls are that the internal emails are hacked. Internal, somebody poses for someone else. Internally, some some wrong takes place. Data data gets compromised. Internally, my formula formula of the company gets released, and so on and so forth. So there are internal controls, which basically means that I will have to have those systems and processes in place. That are internally whatever is available are protected through multi-firewall systems and state-of-the-art systems. Problem here is most boards do not appreciate, and I'm telling you again, most boards all over the world do not appreciate the risk of cyber crimes hitting internal data, internal issues. Coming to external, externally. The relationship of a company is with a customer, and when the customer pays, let's say you are buying a book from Amazon, you are more or less sure that if I pay five hundred rupees or let's say ten dollars for a book, normally Amazon is going to get the money and I will get the book. But if you have any doubt, or if you had one instance where you paid ten dollars and ten dollars was hyped up, you didn't know where to go. Next time you are not going to pay the second ten dollar for an Amazon book. So Amazon loses a customer. It is important for the finance team to ensure that when a customer interacts with you in your website to make some transactions, that her rights and are and her money is completely protected. So as the finance team, many a time we think of internal controls, but believe in me, it is very important to protect the customer or the external controls. Because it has been proven through various research that if a customer is unsure of the website they are visiting, in two thirds of the cases, two thirds of the customer cases, customer will never ever visit one more time. They will just ignore the site website forever. And eighty percent of the cases, the customer will never give a, a credit or a debit card. So you have lost a customer. Therefore, internal and external both have to be tackled. By the finance or the CFO team to get rid of this whole virus called cyber. When you are talking about uh, technology, uh, two more steps the CFOs or the finance team needs to take. One is that never compromise on the quality of technology you are adopting. Many attempts, what happens in order, in order to save cost, we get into systems and processes which are either old. Or which is which is there for a long time, and we have not upgraded ourselves. And more and more newer technology always brings into some controls with it. And more importantly, do not do not ever forget to take a cyber crime insurance. Cyber insurance. Cyber crime or cyber losses are now insurable losses. It was not available in the past. Today, you can cover a lot of lot of things, including the lawyer fees. The forensic audit fees, 
if you have to pay some compensation to a hacker and so on and so forth. And if I may add the third one, the third one, many companies have got a lot of benefit by employing, by employing ethical hackers. Hacker is a hacker who is unethical. Now they're ethical hackers. So ethical hacker is another way to look at are there any loopholes which our system has so that no one can hack in. So modernize your system, get some ethical hackers if required, which I presume you should. And three, cyber insurer, cybercrime insurance, take the cybercrime insurance, even if it's a little expensive, it's worth it.